let's say you're in a situation where you want to switch two columns. So let's say you have these two columns in a row. One is two column wide, the other one is 10. And you want to swap them so you get 10 and 2. So I'm going to show you how you can do that using the pull and push classes. And then, and then I'll show you a more involved example. So let's get started. So here I have a link to Bootstrap. I'm just going to start with the foundation of the project. So basically, I'm going to add two columns. One is going to be column large 2, and the other one is going to be column large 10. And inside each one of them, I'm just going to put some content so we can see them. So the first one's 2, and the other one's 10 column wide. So now what we're going to do, we're going to swap these two using push and pull classes for large screens. So here, for the first column, the two column wide, one I'm gonna give I'm gonna push that to the right and then I'm gonna pull 10 to the left so here I'll show you so column large and then I'm gonna push push this one to the right so that's gonna go let's say I don't know eight and then we're gonna pull the other one so again we're, we're dealing with large columns so if you use column large and then we're gonna pull this one and we're going to pull the same amount that we pushed. Sorry, we're going to pull this one to the same amount of the width of this guy. So this is two. So I'm going to pull this two. And probably the better idea would be to push the other, the other one by 10. So that does it. So now these two are swapped. So to recap, basically, I applied um, column large push to the first one, which was this one right here. And then I pulled the other one, and basically in action, I, in practice, I swapped them. So now I'm going to show you a more practical example. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to change the order of columns for different screens. So for large screens, we're going to have three, seven, two, and then as we resize, as we resize the screen and we get to medium size, we're going to have seven, two, three, and for small screen sizes, we're going to do two, three, seven. So I'm going to show you how we can. Um, do this reordering using the pull and push classes provided by Bootstrap. So I'm going to start by making the columns. So I'm going to start by the large columns. So the first one is going to be 3, the other one is going to be 7, and the other one is going to be 2. And these are all for large screens. Let's give it some content. So the first one is 3, the other one is 7, and the last one is three, sorry, two. So that looks good. So now what we want to do is that as you resize, we're going to switch the order. So first let's start by giving them the same size. So here I'm just going to do the same thing. Now here we're going to do for medium screens. I'm just going to here define the width of them. I'm not going to do any reordering. So as you can see, it's just going to have the same width or the same number of columns. So now I'm going to apply the push and pull. So here, the tricky part is to get the number of pushes right. So three is going to go all the way to the end. So it's going to be pushed seven plus two. So I'm going to push it um, nine columns. So it's in the medium size. So column medium push and nine. We're going to add nine. So now it's going to go all the way to the end. Now we're going to pull number two, we're going to pull that maybe two to the left. So let's do that, that one. So we're going to pull this. So that's there. And seven, we're going to pull seven three times. So medium, pull, three. Good. So now I need to do some adjustment here. Number two should be pulled maybe one more. So that looks, that looks good. But now the issue is that as you resize this and get to large screen, you lost the order that you had in the beginning. So you need to tell Bootstrap, for large screens, do not change the order. So I'll show you how, what that means. So you need to use the steel here. You need to see what you overrode here, which was a push. So now you're going to do push zero. So that means don't do anything. It's like a reset. And you're going to do the same thing for the things you overrode here. So here you pulled, so you're going to 
reset that using pull zero and here you need a pull for medium so you're gonna reset that as well I know it's a bit tricky I hope it will make sense I'll do another example and hopefully it will make sense in that example so now we have the order that we wanted for large screen is 372 for medium medium size screen is 723 now let's see how we can do it for small screen let me go ahead and let me go ahead and make the define the sizes so first one is going to be let's see what we have up here so we have 372 so here I'm just going to again define the width because as you see if I make it smaller they're going to stack so what I want to I want to have them this kind of width so now we want to swap these. We're going to have two, three, seven. So two is going to come all the way here. Three is going to push a bit to the right, and seven is going to push to the right a little bit. So here I'm going to use column small. And then number three, we need to push number three a little bit to the right. So push. Let's push that a little bit. Let's say three. What we want to get is this configuration. We're going to get seven is going to go all the way to the right. So let's push seven as well, like that. And we want to get two, three, seven. We need to pull two. So here's pull. Sorry, here's two. We're going to pull that. Let's say for nine. Okay, so that's not bad, but we pushed seven too much. So let's get rid of this. Let's see where we are, where we are first. Okay, so let's push a little bit. Push two. Let's have a three. Okay, so that's okay. So now we get that two three seven, and that's what we wanted. But now, if you notice, if I increase the size, things can be a little bit messed up. And that's because we didn't tell Bootstrap to reset for other sizes. So we need to see what we did for small screens, and we're going to reset that for medium screen and also large screen. So let's do that. So here, I'm going to do column medium. So here at the push, so I'm going to reset push so hopefully this will fix that and here we did a small push so we're gonna reset the push for that one so that looks okay and here we did a pull so we're gonna reset pull as well okay so let's see what we had here in the wireframe so for the medium screen we had seven two three that looks good for a small screen we had two three seven that looks fine seven two three and for large that's 372. So that looks fine. So you might be wondering why this is useful. Well, in some situations, you want to have more flexibility for your layout. So maybe for medium sized screens, you want to bring attention maybe to this side. And for a small screen, maybe you want to have the attention on the other side. And as you can see here, I kind of messed up the left side. No, it looks good. It looks just fine. So that's one reason that I can think of. And it's been useful for me when I make very complicated dashboard layouts. It's kind of useful. So I hope it was I hope it was useful for you too. And also make sure to check out the source code that I'm going to put in the comment section because I feel like I kind of messed this section up in the video. So check the check the source code that I'm going to put in the comments and make sure that you do this reset for the large screens so that you won't get a weird layout.